Hello, happy travelers. Good afternoon. When last you saw us, we were in Las Vegas exploring and we've decided to come a little bit outside of the city to Valley of Fire State Park. This state park is about an hour, maybe hour and 15 minute drive from Vegas and it looks like a whole different world out here. Yeah, it looks more like Southern Utah if you've ever been to the Zion area. Very cool, definitely worth a day trip if you're ever in Vegas and find yourself with some extra time. We're gonna do a couple little hikes. We decided to come later in the day to avoid the heat and the crowds and it seems so far to have paid off. We have parked at the White Domes Trailhead. Pretty short loop, just a little over a mile and we're gonna go do that right now. What are we gonna do right now? The White Domes loop. Oh. I planned this one. She doesn't know what's going on. Sheep. We've reached a little bit of a traffic jam. <laughs> We're not sure what to do. The bighorn sheep are blocking the trail. We don't want to disturb them. We're going to try to take the high route. Bighorn sheep are down there. Let me see if there's a way down further up the, the way here. Doesn't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon. That was really cool, a little mini slot canyon on the White Domes hike. It was definitely a little taster of some things we want to do at some point in the future in Utah and Arizona. But I enjoyed it, it was really cool. Even though the sun's not bright, the colors were still incredible. This came from in there, now we want to go there. Right. We, we did it. We are back at the car. The second half of that hike was super easy. It was really flat, big and wide open, so. It's really not accessible though. The whole thing has a lot of rocks and it's mostly sand, so make sure you can hike in sand, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wear good shoes. It was a little slippery on some of the rocks too. But we're gonna go hit up a couple other locations in the park right now. I think we have about an hour until sunset and at sunset they kick you out, so gotta get going. Yep. That was pretty cool. I like wildlife. I like turtles. We've stopped at our next location that we want to check out. It's called Pink Canyon or Pastel Canyon. And I think it's just a short little hike down into a wash and it's very pink. Whoa, that guy was hauling. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? And we've seen tons of bighorn sheep today, which is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen them here, and they're just all over the place. Yeah, that, that is really neat. There is a hike that we wanted to do that's called Fire Wave, but it's a little far for how much daylight that we have left, so we're going to have to save that for next time. Boo. Oh well. Yeah. Let's go see some pinkness. This canyon is really sweet. There's a little dirt pull off on the side, but there isn't any parking sign or any trail marker or anything like that. And if you walk just a little bit down the wash, you come to this really cool little slot canyon. It's not very deep, but the colors in here are just insanely beautiful. I changed my clothes for Instagram photos in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a white dress now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'm really happy we stopped there. We almost skipped the Pastel Canyon. It was just kind of somewhere that I didn't really think was going to be all that impressive, but that was cool. That was even better than the other hike. Yeah, it was really pretty. And it's right off the road, so I would definitely check that out if you're ever in this area. It was pink. It looked like the Himalayan pink salt. And right now, with it being kind of almost sunset and it cloudy, the colors on the rocks are just beautiful right now. He's super stoked. Can you yeah, I am. <laughs> Get excited about photos. We had a few photo spots lined up that were just on the road, the main road in and out, um, and the light's really good right now. We didn't really do much vlogging when we were there though, just because we were busy taking a bunch of photos, which we will show you guys right now. It's about a half hour before sunset and the park is completely cleared out, so shooting on the road right now is really easy. Once the sun goes down, they say that you have to get out of the park. That's when it closes. And they say, if you're here after sunset, you're technically trespassing. So we're trying to rush and uh, get these last photos while the light is good. And uh, it's pretty beautiful right now. So our final photo spot here is the iconic road into Valley of Fire. We've shot this spot one time before, but from that moment we've always wanted to come back and shoot it again. So if you can kind of see behind me, Kelly is going to climb up on that rock right there. And I've got the big lens, and I think we can get a pretty cool compressed photo. But the light is really good right now, we've got an awesome sunset kind of going on over here. It's really beautiful. Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome back. We are at the airport. Sadly, we're going home after only two nights in Las Vegas. It was a short trip, but it was a great one. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did a couple interesting things that we've never done here in Vegas before. Yeah. But you're gonna wanna subscribe because we have a really, really awesome trip coming up. So make sure you don't miss it. Hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And we will see you in our next video. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Boston, you have to get a lobster roll and clam chowder. There's a big horn sheep baby. <laughs> I'm very zoomed in. We're back at the airport. Unfortunately, we're going home today after only two nights in Las Vegas. Oops, I just dropped my phone. <laughs>